And welcome back to more Bucky O'Hare, where we've got one planet left, and now we gotta rescue the final member of our crew. So we're gonna head off to the blue planet to rescue Jenny. And the reason why you want Blinky here is because he can break these ice blocks. Uh, Bucky's not gonna be able to break those things. And you can find a variety of things inside some of them, and if you're unlucky, you can also uncover some hidden enemies, which is always fun. So let's see, what I gotta do is just uh, make my way up here. And yeah, those are one of the hidden enemies there. Let's just uncover them just for the sake of showing it off. And might as well get the point while I'm here too. And see, the blue planet's pretty tricky because uh, you do have this uh, one section later on that's going to be a pain to deal with. And also there's going to be a lot of tricky parts where you have to get past like these ice spikes and... Just a lot of tricky jumps. Well, actually not the jumps, but just a bunch of stuff before that. But what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to get an extra life here. Because I can. But anyway, we gotta deal with this section now with snakes. So basically what we gotta do is... Uh, these guys will kill you instantly if the head touches you. So that's just uh, something to know. So what I'm doing is I'm just using Blinky to charge up here for this first one. And see, I think I want to get Deadeye going here. Because this is one where you do have to work quickly. And then unfortunately that stuff happens. And see, uh, that's why I played that wrong. The way I wanted to do that was, uh... Yeah, I wanted to wait for this guy. Okay, now I should get Deadeye up. Now I'm kind of worried about slipping here. Yeah, the thing is that there's, of course this isn't ice level, so there are ice physics to have to worry about. You know what, why am I doing it this way? I want Blinky again. Yeah, I need Deadeye for the third section. Alright, just uh, get going here. And yeah, it is in our better interest to use the uh, snakes to our advantage. And it is really easy to get caught off guard by that other one, just because that thing does keep going. And also, I wanted Deadeye to deal with these guys, because there's a three-way blaster is also really important to have here. And I do want that life, but I don't know if I can get it. I mean, just because it's uh, really tricky to get out of. So let's just go ahead and make this jump. And the uh, good part about this section is that... I mean, it does uh, keep things fresh, which is something I really like about this game. Is that there's always something new with each screen. And then we got this part where we have to uh, deal with toads uh, coming from random directions. And once again, this is why I wanted to have Deadeye on me. Just because his uh, three-way blaster is so much better for dealing with these guys than anybody else's weapon. And I am going to save that life up because... The uh, glazer is going to automatically float to the right, so I do want to get that thing. But I am glad to be getting things going again with Let's Playing. Just because it is a fun thing to do. Also, unfortunately, things like school get in the way. You know how that goes. Alright, see, for this section, uh, we got to deal with uh, spikes, and also, we have to have the... Uh, ground clean by the time these uh, guys throw their spikes because that's the only way to break through the floor and then you unfortunately slip too much and then end up hitting the spikes alright so let's try that again ok let's just get rid of this thing at least the good thing about this game is that it is very generous when it comes to checkpoints alright let's just that was well done um... Alright, yeah, if I uh, die again, I'm probably just gonna cut this part. Yeah, you guys know how that goes by now. Okay, now let's just take our time here. Yeah, see, this is the easy way to do it, is just to uh, let the uh, blocks just stop you. Or... Alright, good.
Yeah, unfortunately, I am gonna have to take some extra damage here just because I don't feel like hitting spikes. You know, just because they are spikes. So, let's see, uh... I think after that part, uh, the rest of this really isn't too tough. You just have to worry about some tricky timing. Yeah, see, this part we have to make it through all these pipes. Or these pistons pushing up and down. Alright, good, I needed that. Let's see, uh... One thing I did learn about this game is that after you do get a game over, they do give you the option of a stage select. So in case you came here and you wanted to get Blinky back first, uh, you probably would uh, want to go through this section with him. And then you can always just stage select after you die. Because I think it's pretty much inevitable at this point. Yeah, sorry about that, just had a bunch of crap in my throat. Probably should have gotten rid of that before starting this, but oh well. Alright, at least I got one of my lives back, that's always good. So for the boss, I want to get Willy going here, just because uh, I do like his laser gun against this thing. And every, uh, I think every fourth turn, this guy's going to shoot a uh, laser beam, that, or some sort of ice beam that freezes the water. So that's just something to know. And then we don't want to uh, let this guy get the or get the ice up too high. Otherwise, we're gonna hit our head on the spikes and die. But fortunately, with Willie, this guy's not that tough. I mean, it's really just a matter of not getting hit by those missiles. And now Jenny's back, and I did really underestimate Jenny at first, but. Her, uh, turbo ball, or whatever that thing is called, is actually really useful against bosses. Which is one thing I did learn at a speedrun of this game, or from watching a speedrun of this game. But once again, that is something I really do like about this game, is that you do have to form a lot of different strategies, just to, uh, deal with all this crap this game throws at you. Or with all the things this game throws at you. But now that we got our crew back, unfortunately, the Righteous Indignation gets uh, captured again. So now, Bucky and Blinky are here in the cell. Or, I guess, the prison. So, let's see, what we gotta do is uh, get our guys back. So, with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and call the video here, so join me next time as we make it through the prison. See you then!